Hi again, everybody, and welcome to a brand new season of high school football on Big Time Sports. As tonight, the Dover Tornadoes open their season at home against the Green Bulldogs. I'm Dave Sheets. I'll have the play-by-play. -play. Joining me as our color analyst is Greg Williams, and on stats tonight, Scott Steyer. And uh, we want to welcome you to Crater Stadium, the home of the Dover Tornadoes, for tonight's contest. Our pregame show brought to you by WM Roofing. And Greg, welcome to the Big Time Sports Team. Thanks, Dave. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to thank Charlie Jones and Big Time Sports for allowing me to be a part of the Friday night crew. And I'm excited and looking forward to get going here. Greg, tell us a little bit about your coaching background. Uh, I have uh, 22 years of high school football coaching experience. Uh, 17 years at Canton South, one year at Loudonville High School, and most recently four years at Sandy Valley with Coach Brian Gamble. Uh, I've been a, a coordinator of, of all three phases of the game, so hopefully I can bring a little knowledge to the broadcast here. We continue with our WM Roofing pregame show, and Greg, let's first focus on the Green Bulldogs under head coach Mark Geis. Well, Green has had uh, some outstanding seasons here uh, of, of recent including last year where they were regional finalists. Uh, I think with, with Green, who's going to step up? They're missing uh, at least one big star tonight, and that's Mike Shaw, uh, who was a beast on the defensive front the past couple of seasons. Will Antonio Martin play? Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a mystery right now. He, it, it sure didn't look like he was going to play it during pregame, but who will step up for the Bulldogs? We know last year they were five wide. Uh, and, and we know that they want to run the ball a little bit more, so we'll see if they can have some offensive, uh, you know, some variation here this year. All right, and for the Dover Tornadoes, they are coached by Dan Ift, his 30th season with Dover as their head coach. 30 seasons. It doesn't happen very often anymore uh, to see a coach uh, be a head coach for that long at one school. But you talk about Dover, you talk about speed. Uh, Dalen Clark, Caden Shy, Justice Hughes, uh, and they got their quarterback returning. Uh, Jack Judkins, uh, but for Dover, they have a, a smaller roster this year. So I think the question is going to be who can step up for Dover and fill in for, uh, you know, for some guys and give them some rest here. All right, Greg, let's talk about our keys to the game, and those are being brought to you by the Buckeye Career Center. I think for Green, my favorite, Martin. The youngsters will have to go look that one up, a TV show from, <laughs> from way, way back. Will Antonio Martin play? And if he doesn't play, who's going to step up for the Bulldogs in his absence? For Dover, they're going to have to avoid injuries. Uh, with, the, with the small roster, as I noted earlier, mm -hmm. uh, who's going to step up for them? And uh, a wise old coach told me 25 years ago that half the games in the state tonight are going to be won or lost on special teams. So who's going to be sound in the special teams game tonight? All right, thanks, Greg. Our keys to the game brought to you by the Buckeye Career Center. Time now to take a look at our starting lineups brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency on North Broadway in New Philly. Call 330-602-2700 for more information. Let's take a look at the green offense. They'll start with Tyson Hunk at quarterback. The running back is Reed Fortunato. We'll see time at fullback. The receivers, Martin, uh, Giorgio, and Fortunato. And across the front, Lombardi, Alcotti, McKendry, Knowlton, and White. Let's take a look at the Dover starting defense. We expect to see across the front, Nauer, McKinnon, Arnold, and Patton. The linebackers, Gribble and Royer. The safeties, Blickenzerfer, uh, Clark, and Mast. And the corners, Clark and Shy. Now, Dover offensively will look for sophomore quarterback Jack Judkins to lead the offense. Justin Hughes gets the start at running back. The receivers, Bruno, Shy, and Clark. Tight end is Blickensdurfer. And the uh, guys up front, Arnold, Smith, Nauer, McKinnon, and Hart. And for Green, defensively across the defensive front, Lombardi, White, and Yule. Linebackers, Warner, Fortunato, Clark, and Reed. The safeties, Giorgio McMichael, and the corners are Martin and Fortunato. Again, our starting lineups brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. When we come back, we will bring you tonight's opening kickoff. It's Green at Dover from Crater Stadium right here on Big Time Sports. Treat your family to the best in dining pleasure at Chibo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. The very best at homemade pasta, rigatoni, and spaghetti will delight your appetite. 
and the homemade rolls and bread are menu favorites. Visit Chibos once and you'll become a regular. Other popular items like chicken, ham, and veal parmesan highlight our menu. Take the short drive to great food at Chibos in Waynesburg. I wanted something that I could learn a little bit more about what I was passionate about. I wanted to learn a trade that would always be in demand. Buckeye has so many opportunities for everyone. You're here because you want to do what you came here to do. This is the best choice that I've made. Uh, I just think it's set me up to be a better person. Are you looking for an inexpensive way to identify your business? Or need custom embroidery for your coat or hat? Then why not try Swiss Tees in downtown Sugar Creek? We are the best. We are the least expensive screen printing and embroidery shop in Ohio. Look good and save yourself some money at Swiss Tees in Sugar Creek. Locally owned Alban Title in Dover is a full service title and escrow company. Our experienced staff has over 100 years of combined experience. The choice is yours. Choose Alban Title in Dover. Call for an estimate at 330-343-5800 or log on to albantitle.com. Back at Crater Stadium, moments away from tonight's opening kickoff here on Big Time Sports. It's Green and Dover. Dave Sheets, Greg Williams, and Scott Steyer with you here tonight. While we have a moment, we want to say hi to our good buddy Ron Hurst. Ron, a longtime member of our Big Time Sports crew. He's got a new role this year. He's the number one fan. He's the grandfather of the quarterback and defensive end for Strasburg. He is at Strasburg tonight watching his grandson and the Strasburg Tigers host Rittman. So we want to say hi, Ron Hurst, and enjoy your season watching your grandson. That's great. Uh, Ron Hurst was actually the coach at Strasburg when I played at uh, TCC about 35 years ago <laughs> or so. <laughs> All right, the Green Bulldogs won the toss and they elected to receive. And kicking off for Dover will be Jamison Marlett, the 5'10", 165-pound senior, a very experienced kicker for these tornadoes. Dave, we talked a little while ago. What perfect weather. What, uh, you know, what a, what a, great, uh, what a great night weather-wise. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Uh, opening, opening kickoff of the football season. Uh, it's, as, it's as exciting as it gets. Evan Reed and Brock Kuznick are back deep for Green, standing at their own five-yard line. Great to have you with us as we begin the 2024 high school football season right here tonight at Crater Stadium. And we are underway. Tonight's opening kickoff brought to you by Mount Hope Fence. That'll be a touchback, and Green will take over. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Field position is such a key, so when you have a kicker that can kick it into the end zone, like Marlatt did, uh, you know, going 80 yards is tough in high school football. Great kickoff. Our scoreboard this year brought to you by Wayne Garage Door. So we are set to go. 
Green will come out with an experienced quarterback, Tyler Hunka, who had a lot of playing time last year as a sophomore. He's a 5'10", 170-pound junior. He'll have in the backfield number 20, Evan Reed. And the fake is to Reed. And Hunka going to break it outside, 30-35. And out near the 40-yard line, a big run on first down for the Bulldogs. Great read by Hunka. Putting that ball in the Reed's stomach, looking at the backside defensive end, keeping it himself for about uh, 20 yards, 18 yards. That takes it out to the 38-yard line. Green with a first down and 10. If you look at Green's offensive line, not that big. Not a big bunch, but I'm sure they will learn to work together cohesively as the season goes on. Two juniors on the left side, the senior center and the Lyman on the right are both seniors as well. There's a toss out to Reed. Reed with running room, and he crosses out near midfield and into that Dover sideline. Looks like it'll be another first down for the Bulldogs. Yeah, another great play there by, uh, by the Green Bulldogs. Reed is, he's a big boy, 215 pounds out there running that ball on that pitch. Opening drive here for Green. Ball just shy of midfield. And another first down play coming up here. They'll send three receivers to the far side, one receiver to the near side, and now into the ball game is Anthony McMichael, number six. He'll line up to the left side of Hunka. McMichael, a 5'7", 170-pound junior. Hunka to throw. He is pressured, and he is going to be sacked. That's going to be about a two-yard loss as the Dover defense steps up and makes a big play. Yeah, Hunka sprinting out, uh, looking for a little wheel route out there, looking for a deep one. Uh, great job by the de uh, defensive end for the uh, Dover Tornadoes, keeping him pinned in. Second down and 12 now. Ball back at the 48. Reed back in to the right of Hunka. Hunka going to gun it left side, pass is caught, and the knee goes down as the reception is made at the Dover 47. Easy. And that is Caden, uh, check that, Anthony Giorgio with the reception. Easy pitch and catch out there to cover three. The Dover cornerback is responsible for the deep third, so they just threw a little quick one right out to the flats. Third down and seven now. For Green at the Dover 47 yard line. Opening drive. And now looks like Green will go empty with trips to the near side, two receivers to the far side. Hunk of the quarterback. Fires over the middle. It's behind the intended receiver. That was Caden Gregory. He went into a slide, but not able to bring it up. That's fourth down. But we do have a flag on the play in the green backfield area. If that goes against green, it'll be interesting to see what Dover does with this. They'll probably decline it and force green to punt the ball. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go against green. Yep. All right, it is a holding penalty, and Dover will decline it. That'll bring up fourth down, and here comes the punt team now for Green. Now, we talked about Antonio Martin. Uh, did not see him on that opening series. Uh, he is, I can see him on the sideline. He is in shorts with his jersey on, no shoulder pads or nothing like that. So he is probably not going to play tonight. So here we go. We'll see who can step up for Green in the absence of Martin. There's the punt by Bruce, fielded at the 10. This is Shy. Shy crosses the 20 and gets out near the 25-yard line. We talked about Antonio Martin, an outstanding athlete, football, basketball, has had two major knee injuries, and the last one was toward the end of last season in basketball. So he's coming back from that. They weren't sure if he was going to play tonight. Looks like he's going to be on the sideline for tonight's game, but they hope to have him back soon. Yeah, for you know, for for the sake of the young man, we hope that uh, that he's able to come back here soon, uh, within the first couple of weeks of the season. Junior quarterback Jack Judkins. We'll lead this attack, number four, five, seven, 180 pounds. And he will have Justice Hughes, the running back to his right, wearing number three. The give is to Hughes. Hughes going to try to work it outside. He is popped hard, 
and then knocked down after a short gain of maybe two to the 27. Hughes, a young man Dover really wants to get the ball to. Uh, he was out for, for a better part of the preseason with an injury. Uh, good to get that first handoff and uh, get that first contact out there. Good job by the green defense. That's a gain of two, second down and eight now for Dover. First quarter, clock running, coming up on nine minutes in this opening quarter. Two receivers to each side for Judkins. He'll roll right. He'll fire. It is caught, and a nice rolling catch by Blickenzerfer. Out near the first down marker, it'll be enough for a Dover first down. Great catch out there by Blickensturfer. That's a smash route. The outside receiver is going to run short with the inside receiver running over the top, trying to put the cornerback in a, in a predicament. Great pitch and catch, moving the sticks for Dover. This Dover team last year went 6-5. and five. Qualified for the playoffs, lost to Kenston in their first playoff game. Our replays this year brought to you by Denison Yard. And there's Judkins getting out of the pocket, finding Blick and Sturfer. Great diving catch right at the sticks. First down and 10, Dover at the 35. He'll give it off to Hughes. Hughes has running room. And Justice Hughes into green territory down to the 48-yard line. First down. There's that speed that Coach Ift was telling us about. Uh, Justice Hughes getting actually, that's a, that's a pass. That's a, a pitch pass, a jet sweep. Uh, getting the ball to Hughes and getting him out in space. Let's show the replay to you. Great catch there by Hughes. Ball got high up in his shoulder pads. He turns his shoulders, uses that speed. Big gain for the Tornadoes. Nice tackle there by the free safety, Anthony McMichael or Hughes. May have had much, much more yardage. First and 10 at the green 48. And flags come in. We've got a false start coming up against the Tornadoes. Dover had a problem with this in their second scrimmage, these little five-yard penalties, and it's uh, it's sure a lot tougher to make a first down when it's first and 15 than first and 10, so we'll see if they can overcome the five-yard penalty here. Dover with nine returning starters on offense, eight on defense. So the five-yard penalty pushes the ball back to the 47. First and 15 now, and Judkins throws, Hughes, and what a great open field play. And the defender, the linebacker, A.J. Fortunato, 6'2", 220-pound senior. And Coach Mark Geis says that A.J. Fortunato is probably going to be one of the top linebackers this year in the Federal League. Uh, you keep seeing plays like that, Dave, and that you can see why Coach Geis would say that. That's a great play reading that screen pass. Right in the middle of that green defense, A.J. Fortunato. So it's second down and 17 now. Ball back at the Dover 45. Hughes lines up behind Judkins, the quarterback, in the pistol. Judkins looks down the field. Ball in the air. And it's broken up incomplete, but there is a penalty flag down. Pass intended for Colin Bruno. Look like... Uh, the green defensive back may be called for pass interference on this one. Good two protection by the Tornado offensive line, Dave. Two defenders were back there, Anthony Fortunato and Anthony McMichael. So that will be a 15-yard pass interference penalty. That'll put it back at the green 40-yard line. And it will be third down and two. High school football back again in 2024 here on Big Time Sports. Glad you're with us. Dover with the football, second and two. It's Hughes. Hughes turns the corner, and he is upended. He's going to have enough for the first down as he'll carry to the 36. There's that jet sweep again. I believe that's the third time that uh, the ball has been in Hughes' hand. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to see Dover try and get the ball uh, to the outside using that speed all night long. Coming up on seven minutes to go here in the first quarter on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Hughes lines up to the left of Judkins now on first down. 
Man in motion, there's that pop pass again. This is Dalen Clark, and Green does a nice job with it as he is knocked out of bounds there by the free safety, Anthony McMichael. Same play, different ball carrier that time. Running the jet sweep into the Dover bench. Dover's been very multiple in their uh, offensive formations, showing three wide, four wide, five wide. Those are some of the things Coach Ift wanted to do, different personnel groupings, trying to confuse the, the green defense. Second down and about eight, just shy of the 34-yard line of green. Hughes lines up in the pistol behind Judkins. Rolling right is Judkins. And Green did a nice job covering any would-be targets, and it looks like they may have lost a couple on that as the defense caught up with Judkins. Yeah, it looked like just a, a one-man route there uh, for Dover. Judkins uh, couldn't find Blickenster for open, so he lowers his shoulder, and, and he got what he could get. Dover looking at third and ten now. Ball is at the 36. It's a third down and ten for the Tornadoes. Pistol again, and Judkins the throw. Looking into the sun, guns it over the middle. It's caught by Shy. He gets a block. Shy to the 10. He's going to take it in for a Dover touchdown. What a great throw by Judkins on that. They, they were in a four vertical day. Uh, Shy right up the uh, right up the far hash line. Judkins put it right on the money, and Shy took it to the house. Boy, I hope we have a replay because somebody threw Shy a great block a big play replay brought to you by Domino's Pizza let's watch for that block here after the catch so Dover was four wide they're shy coming down the uh, coming down the scene makes a great move there looks like Bruno number 12 maybe threw a nice block in there I think it was Dalen Clark who added that first block that really sprung him great opening drive for the Dover Tornadoes and the extra point attempt by Marlett is up and good 5.59 to go here in the first quarter. It's Dover, seven, and Green, nothing. Time out on the field. We'll come back with more right after this. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. Selling your home is one of the largest transactions you will have in your lifetime. Sure, you could try to sell it yourself, but you can also cut your own hair. But why risk it? There are contracts, inspections, appraisals, financing, marketing, title work, and negotiating. Why not leave it to the professionals at Atkins Roof Realty? One of the few remaining locally owned real estate companies. As my granddaughter Mason says. Mason call. I'm Dr. Michele Aiono. At Advancing Athletics, our fuel move recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. What draws us together? What keeps us grinding long into the night? What drives us to excel? To give it everything we have? It's the moment. We're ready to show up. Are you? Welcome to Willis Group Realty, where service meets excellence. At Willis Group Realty, we pride ourselves on customer service. We ensure smart investment choices for a secure future. And we give back to the community because we believe in building stronger neighborhoods. Commercial, residential, land, whatever your real estate needs, 
Willis Group Realty has you covered. Willis Group Realty, welcome home. Back at Crater Stadium, Dover 7, Green nothing. Having trouble hearing, can't quite get the whole conversation. Well, you need Dr. Justin Garion at Hear Inc. Call for an appointment with Hear Inc. at 234-347-0155. 234-347-0155, Hear Inc. And you might just see Melotones right there. <laughs> Jack Judkins, 5 for 5 in that opening uh, opening series, 48 yards and a touchdown. Pretty impressive opening series yes. of, the, of the season for Dover's offense. Let's see if, uh, if Green can uh, come back with a drive of their own. A high, short kick, and it'll be Reed settling under it, 20 and 25, and to the 26, a flag comes in from the far sideline. We'll check that out here momentarily. So Dover with a nice opening drive, very impressive. Tornadoes on the board here early. If this penalty goes against the Green Bulldogs, they're going to start with uh, some pretty bad field position for the second time. Yeah, they're going to walk it back here. Marlat put the ball in the end zone the first kickoff. Green started at their own 20. Looks like they're going to start at their own 12-yard line. No, it's going to be a little worse. Wow, inside the 10, just near the 8. Tough start here for the Bulldogs. Already down here, 7 nothing. Interesting in their first drive, Green ran the ball for a couple of big plays, and then they chose to, to pass it three times and, and, and then were forced to punt. So let's see if they come back with the running game here in this drive. Reed in it running back to the left side of Hunka. On first down ball near the eight yard line, first and 10. And the give is to Reed. Reed with some running room, crosses the 15, crosses the 20, ball pops out. It looks like Dover is on it. That's the signal. Wow, Reed had a lot of room. Green was uh, showing counter left uh, in her blocking scheme, but with the read. We see the Reed will see the right guard and tackle pulling left, which is a false key. Reed has a nice uh, nice running room there, uh, but nice job by, I believe that was eight Clark who stripped that. Nice job by the Dover defense coming up with uh, coming up with a big play. That is our defensive lead play brought to you by Mount Hope Fence. And the Dover defense comes up with a huge play on just the second series for Green. So Dover with great field position at the 23 of Green. Already leading 7-0. These two teams opened in Green last year. Green won a defensive struggle 14-6. Hughes broke one tackle, and look at that effort as he gets down near the 20. Dover overloading the, uh, the boundary, the, the near sideline with receivers, and then running a counter back to the, the long side of the field. Great job by Hughes to pick up a couple. Those are important yards. Second and eight is a lot easier than first and 10, or second and 10. Ball just shy of the 20 yard line coming up on five minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Beautiful night on the opening night of high school football. Trips to the far side, two receivers to the left. Judkins to throw. He'll look, throws off his back foot as he was tripped up and it's incomplete inside the five. Looked like he was Throwing the football there for Justice Hughes. Great coverage in the defensive secondary for the Green Bulldogs. Judkins had nowhere to go, uh, scrambled, uh, probably threw a pass. Coach Yip probably doesn't want him throwing too many times mm -hmm. tonight, but uh, great job by the Green defense. See if they can come up with a stop here on third and long. We have a timeout taken by the Dover Tornadoes with 5.03 to go here in the first quarter. When traveling in Northeast Ohio, look for the red, white, and blue marathon sign. Bell Stores features delicious ice cream and coffee and your favorite travel food. When you're on the road, make Bell Stores your travel partner. 
Time to bring you our cheer cam. And our cheer cam brought to you by Uncle Primo's Restaurant. There you see the 2024 edition of the Dover Cheerleaders in front of the home stands here. And uh, they obviously have a very comfortable night to be cheering here in week one. Thanks to Uncle Primo's Restaurant for sponsoring our cheer cam this year. Any thoughts on this third down play coming up now for Dover? Well, I've seen Dover in this situation at scrimmages and, and, and in years past. They, they like to run a shallow cross uh, with the inside receivers running uh, crossing routes short, and uh, the receiver, the, uh, the quarterback uh, Judkins, has his choice of receiver. So let's see if that's what they come up with here on third and long. And they'll go empty backfield with Judkins looking over that green defense. Third and seven. Judkins looking, here comes pressure. He'll throw towards the end zone and it's incomplete. That pass intended for Kale Oswald, number 21, it's fourth down. Great job by the green defense after that big turnover, holding Dover to a, looks like a field goal attempt. It'll be a 37 yarder. Well, we know that uh, Marlotte has a nice leg Experienced kicker. And he'll come on. This will be a 37 yard attempt. Shy is the holder. Kick on its way and no good. Hooked it to the left, had plenty of distance, but drove it to the left of the upright. And our score remains Dover seven Green nothing with 4.51 to go here in the opening quarter. That's a big time stop by Green's defense. So now the offense for the Green Bulldogs will look to get on track here a little bit and at least establish some field position. They'll start at their own 20 yard line trailing seven to nothing. Dave Sheets along with Greg Williams and Scott Stair on stats here with you tonight on Big Time Sports. We've got a full slate of games this season, both in Tuscarawas County and in Stark County. You can go to our website and check out all the replay times and our schedule. Here's the quarterback. This is Hunka and nowhere to go. He picks up a little more than a yard on that quarterback keep on first down. Guys up front holding their ground. 88 Blickensturfer coming up from the secondary, making a real nice play. Denison Yard replay for you, Greg. Here comes Blickensturfer up from a secondary position. Trips up the quarterback, Hunka. Great play by Blickensturfer. Second down, about nine from the 21. Reed behind Hunka in the pistol. Takes to read, now he'll throw it out, catch is made. 25 and out near the 28 yard line. That catch, that's Brock Kuznick. The 5'7 senior wears number zero for Green. So they'll get seven on that one and it's now third and two at the 28. Hurry up look here for Green. Hunka gonna run it. He's got the first down following a blocker. Crosses the 35 out to the 37, first down, Bulldogs. Great job by the green offense coming up with a big first and 10. First with the uh, eight yard pass on the bubble screen and then quarterback Hunka keeping around uh, the left end there for a first down. Hunka's gonna take that, follow his running back Reed to the short side, turn it up, gather enough yards for the first and 10, move the sticks. First down and 10 at the 37. Hunka looks, now puts the ball, tucks it, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 38. Good coverage in the secondary that time, Greg. Great coverage. The, the, the Hunka was looking to the uh, the short side. Both receivers were running short routes, and they were both covered. Uh, Hunka did a nice job of uh, uh, scrambling and picking up at least one yard there. Second and nine now, as we are under three minutes to go here in the opening quarter from Crater Stadium, Green and Dover hooking up in week one. Four receivers to the near side. One to the far side for the empty backfield for Tyler Hunka. 
He's in trouble and he's gonna go down back inside the 35 yard line. There's a sack for the Dover defense. We give credit to the, the Dover secondary on this. Five men out in the routes uh, for, uh, for the Green Bulldogs. Absolutely nobody open. Great job up front uh, by the Dover defense getting that sack. Third down and 13 now. Ball back at the 34 for Green. Trips to the far side. Two to the near side for Tyler Hunka. Here comes the blitz. Hunka being chased. He'll go down back at the 25. And rushing through defensively, they sent the inside linebacker, Mason Royer. Four-man front for Dover. They sent a fifth man, Mason Royer, uh, off the top, uh, right through about B gap. Watch the replay here, you'll see to the right of your screen, here comes number 11, Royer. Great pressure. Dover with yet another sack, forcing Green to punt once again. There's our Mount Hope fence defensive replay. Ron Bruce to punt. Spiral, that shy fields at the 35, looking right into the sun, 45, and to the 48 yard line. Dover will have excellent field position with a little more than a minute to go here in the opening quarter. For your next building project, why not work with a company that is trusted, experienced, and bonded? That company is Superior Insulation, thanks to Superior Insulation, one of our many fine sponsors here on Big Time Sports. First down to 10, Dover at their own 48-yard line. The flag hanging limp right along that pole in the end zone. No wind to speak of here tonight. This is Hughes and Hughes a short gain at best, tried the middle of that green defense. One yard on the carry for good, Justice Hughes. Good job in the middle of that defense for green. Dover going empty, motioning back to the backfield, running the inside zone play. Not a whole lot of room there for Dover. Second down and nine from the 49. Two receivers to each side. Now they'll put Hughes in motion. There's that pop pass. And crosses midfield. Good gain as he'll take it to the 46 of Green. That's probably the fourth or fifth time we've seen that same play come in the same way. Little pitch pass, jet sweep. He's picking up a nice game. And and what's the old adage? You run it till they stop it. Run right? it till you stop it. We'll probably <laughs> see it a few more times tonight, Dave. I think so. That is going to be the end of the first quarter as the final seconds tick down. We'll have that Dover third down play when we come back. At the end of one on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard, it's Dover 7 and Green nothing on Big Time Sports. Introducing Uncle Primo's, where culinary expertise meets passion. Uncle Primo's, where we're crafting outstanding steaks and succulent seafood like never before. Our passion for the perfect dish is unmatched. We take pride in every Italian creation, boasting our lasagna as unbeatable. And our Primo salad, a timeless classic, always fresh, always delicious. Good food and good company, because here we're making restaurant history one dish at a time. Welcome to Daystar Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Malvern, Ohio, your ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Get behind the wheel of your dreams with our exclusive lineup of top quality vehicles. From sleek sedans to rugged SUVs, we have something for every driver. 
Explore our wide selection of premium cars and let our expert team help you find the perfect match. Don't settle for ordinary. Upgrade to extraordinary at Daystar Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Malvern. Football there. Football there. Football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's rough in the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Rough in the passer. And low? Rough in the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref. Let the boys play. Powered by Purpose at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Engineering technology at Kent State Tusk is your pathway to a career in engineering. Our ABET accredited degrees cover many fields, including electrical, electronic, mechanical systems, green and alternative, and integrated engineering technology. Graduates of our bachelor level engineering technology degree programs are eligible to become registered professional engineers in the state of Ohio. Define your own success at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Lodge Vision Technologies is a locally owned IT service management group in Winesburg, Ohio. If your small business has technology needs ranging from workstation setups to network management, filtering, and cybersecurity, Lodge Vision Technologies has the team and experience to create a solution unique to your business. Our goal is to simplify your business by taking the complexity and difficulty out of technology. Contact Lodge Vision Technologies and experience a true peace of mind with all of your technology needs. Start of the second quarter here at Dover with the Tornadoes on top, seven to nothing. And they've got the football with a third down and three at the green 45 yard line. Another Judkins at quarterback and Hughes sets up to his right. Another different look by the Dover offense here. Two tight ends this time. Third and three. Green shows blitz and here's a quick pass to Blickensdurfer juggles the ball and carries inside the green 35-yard line. And we have a flag on the play back near midfield. This goes against Dover. Those are killer penalties. So let's see what the call here is. Roughing the passer is the call on the green defense. Oh, that's a big one. So Dover showing a two tight end look. Blick and Sturford down here at the bottom of your screen as the tight end. Runs to the dead spot or the open area. He's a big target. Judkins put that ball right between the eight and the eight. 6'4", 200 pound senior Isaac Blickensdurfer. At 15 yards and Dover's on the march again. Ball inside the green 20. First and 10 at the 18 for Dover. They'll go back in pistol formation. And the give, no, he's going to fake it. Judkins is going to keep, and he is hit hard, knocked down after a short gain close to the 15. Judkins is reading that backside defensive end. He's going to put that ball into the belly of the running back. The defensive end crashes as he did. Judkins is going to keep it around the left end, picked up a few yards on that. That's a gain of about three, just shy of the 15. Early second quarter, Dover on top seven to nothing on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard and looking for more here now. Play clock is down to six. And now Coach If not happy as they are going to be forced to take a timeout. Love watching Coach If on the sidelines. Gets a little animated from time to time. He's, he's still got it, Dave. Does your body have wrinkles? Want those wrinkles smoothed out? Call Haas Body Shop at 330-343-1311. I'm talking about your car. 330-343-1311. Haas Body Shop will like, make it look brand new. Taking a look at that first quarter in the early part of the second quarter here. Uh, Judkins is seven and nine. Most of those passes have been short passes or the little jet sweep passes, but uh, seven and nine, 68 yards. Uh, you know, really controlling the clock here. Dover is and controlling the uh, the line of scrimmage and moving moving those sticks, getting first and tens. All right, after the timeout, second and seven. Ball right near the 15. 
Judkins, the junior quarterback, looks to throw. Rolls right, chased, and cut down back at the 20-yard line. And that is a fine individual play there by the defender, number 22. And that is Rowan Yule. Yule, a defensive lineman, 5'10", 185-pound senior. Yeah, great play by Yule right there. Great uh, coverage in the, in the defensive secondary for Green. Judkins really had nowhere to go with it. Third and long, third and about 13 now. Ball back at the 21. They'll come out with the pistol look again. Hughes behind Judkins. And he'll look to throw again. He's got some running room if he wants it. Now he's being chased. And Reed comes up and knocks him down right near the 20 yard line. That'll bring up fourth down and long. Looked like Judkins had some room to run and Reed really tracked him down. Great play uh, by Reed for the Green Bulldogs defense. Looks like we're gonna get another field goal attempt. Jamison Marlette on to attempt this field goal. Missed one earlier from 37 yards. This one will be about a 35 yarder. Shy the holder. Again, no wind to speak of. End over end kick on its way and it is good. From 35 yards out. But we do have a flag on the play. Interesting to see what the call will be here. Looks like it's going to be on Dover. Yeah, I think we've got a holding penalty against the Tornadoes. No, procedure. So now he's going to have to kick again. Yeah, not enough guys on the line of scrimmage. It happens sometimes on these PATs and field goals. He's going to have to go back five yards further. Right now we are looking at a 43 yarder, but I think they're talking about where the ball may may be placed. I, I think I think the kick was from the hash mark, okay. the one that he made. So it looks like. They moved it back too far, I think. Oh. Yeah, it was oh. a thirty. It was a thirty-five yarder, so now it should okay. be a should be a forty yarder. Right. They, they've got it right now. Yeah. Ball will be set down at the thirty, so that's a forty-yard field goal attempt now here. Kick on the way, and it is no good as he hooked it to the left. So our score remains Dover seven. And green nothing with 9.21 to go here in the first half. Another big stop for the green defense. It, it seems like Dover should probably be up by more than seven points, but green defense is dug in, forced two field goal attempts. Kept Dover out of the, out of the, out of the end zone again, and, and, and we still set it at seven to seven to nothing. Before or after the game, treat your family to the best in pizza or salad or pasta. It's real good eating. We'll see you at Pangrazio Pizza in downtown Dover and Denison, thanks to Pangrazio Pizza. So after a missed field goal, it's now green with a first and 10. This is gonna be Reed. Reed has some running room, and he's close to a first down out near the 30 yard line. Some power running there by Reed. Reed now with the 43 yards on only four carries. We'll see if uh, Green sticks to the ground game. Evan Reed, good size, 6'1", 215 pound junior running back. He'll share time with Anthony McMichael, although Reed's been out there nearly every play so far. And this is gonna be Hunka. He keeps, calls his own number, crosses the 35 out near the 36. Picks up about uh, five and a first down replay there for the Bulldogs. Quarterback Hunka is looking at the defensive end. 
while faking to the uh, to the running back. He's looking at number 13, the defensive end. If he widens up, Hunka's going to keep it up inside, which he did, carried for the first down. All our replays brought to you by Denison Yard. First and 10 at the 36 for Green. Tosses out to Reed, pitch out right side, 40, 45, and pushed out of bounds, close to another Green first down. And as I look across the way, pretty good crowd coming down from Northern Star County. Uh, the weather has a lot to do with it also. Opening night, great crowd. Uh, Green's brought a lot of uh, folks with them. Of course, the Dover side is always packed, so great opening night for, for uh, high school football. Another great run for the, for the Green Bulldogs, setting up second and short. Greg mentioned second and short at the 45. Give to Reed, first down and more. And Reed charges ahead close to the Dover 45. And right now, that green offensive line open up, opening up some holes. They sure are. That's uh, about three or four runs in a row for green. And uh, the, the moving the ball, getting first and down, first, uh, first and tens. Here's the handoff to Reed. Offensive line getting good push up front. Reed picking his hold, coming up with a nice gain. First and 10 at the Dover 46. Now they'll shift three players to the right. Defensive lineman moved, no flag. Hunka keeps. Hunka crosses the 45, pushes forward down close to the 40. Green just ran that the, the same shift. They put four receivers to the short side up to the top of the field. Uh, last time they pitched the ball to Reed, this time they faked the pitch to Reed, and the quarterback, Hunka, kept it coming back to the left on the counter. Nice, nice, uh, nice scheme for Green. Picks up five yards on first down, second and five at the 41. Clock running, under seven and a half to go here in the opening half. Give to Reed, up the middle. Reed more running room, and Reed carries the football down inside the 30. That's another green first down. And boy, you look now at those two missed scoring opportunities by Dover. Could have been touchdowns, Two ends up with two missed field goals, and here comes Green. Just running the inside uh, lead play there to, to, to Evan, Evan Reed. Right. Ball at the 29, first and 10. Green's most impressive drive of the night so far. Give to Reed again, and Reed breaks a tackle. And then Flickensturfer stands him up, but Reed forces his way for a couple more yards inside the 25. Uh, I mean, they are, they are feeding Reed now, and he is carrying Tornado tacklers with him. That's, a, that's an impressive five-yard run. Looked like he was going to be stopped for about a two-yard run, but he got a few more out of it churning those legs. Junior running back there, you see him, Evan Reed. And right now, that green offensive front is taking over the line of scrimmage. Ball at the 24, second and five. Reed to the right. Now a couple men in motion. And now we've got a timeout. Timeout taken by Green. 6.19 to go here in the first half. Our score, Dover 7, Green nothing on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Searching for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local, familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. We understand the challenges families face today. 
Insurance can be confusing, and sometimes you're afraid to make the wrong move. Well, the Tuscross Insurance Professionals are here to make it easy. Our trusted staff will walk you through everything you need to know to make your decision easier for you. All our energy, commitment, and efforts are focused on you, the client, for your satisfaction. Learn more. Visit TuskInsurance.com or one of our three convenient locations, New Philly, Strasburg, and Sugar Creek. Introducing Mount Hope Fence. Elevate your outdoors with our premier fences, beautiful pergolas, and captivating decks. We're your local experts on outdoor transformations, security, style, and serenity. We have it all. Let us bring your outdoor dreams to life. Mount Hope Fence, your space, your sanctuary. 7102 County Highway 77 in Millersburg and 644 Killian Road in Akron. Mount Hope Fence, we have the inside on the outdoors. Hey, you guys want to practice for the golf scramble? Right now? How? I got an idea. Now we know what you're doing when we can't find you. Wayne? Looks like we have a problem. Do you really know what's been happening on your roof? We can help. Don't risk costly damages and disruptions to your business operations. Schedule your complimentary roof assessment today. Back here at Crater Stadium, home of the Dover Tornadoes, with a little more than six minutes to go here in the first half after a green timeout. It's Dover 7, green nothing, but the Bulldogs with their best drive of the night. Yeah, the Bulldogs are, are riding Evan Green, who now has eight attempts and, and uh, 78 yards. He's averaging almost 10 yards a carry. The give to Reed, and Reed, 25, 20, turns the corner. Reed to the five, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Green. What a great run by Reed. Great scheme up front. I can tell you that's tough on a defense. The green offensive line is showing a, a counter play to the right, which gets the Dover linebackers moving to their left. Uh, but uh, green ends up handing off coming around to the left. As you'll see, the left guard and tackle are going to pull right, but they're going to give the ball to Reed coming to the left. That's a tough read for the defense. He gets around the corner. He's showing off not only his power, but his speed as well. Dominoes. Pizza, big play, replay, the extra point by Logan Neurot. And Green has tied the game at seven with 6.11 to go here in the first half. Dave Sheets, Greg Williams with you here tonight on Big Time Sports. Our statistician, Scott Steyer. You know, Coach, Coach Geis, uh, you know, in his, his, his pregame, uh, or, or preseason, you know, talks, uh, you know, he, he, he mentioned that he wanted to become more two-dimensional, run the ball, pass the ball, uh, and you could see that for sure. I don't believe they passed the ball one time in that last drive, and, and Evan Reed got the uh, most of the carries there. He's up over 100 yards rushing already, wow. and we're only halfway through the second quarter, so nine carries, 102 yards, now the touchdown. Uh, I think we'll probably see a little bit more of Mr. Reed for the rest of the game. Hughes and Dalen Clark are back deep for Dover. Noreau ready to kick it away. Uh, check that. Anthony McMichael will handle the kickoff duties for Green. Big Time Sports will be right back here next Friday night, August 30th, as these same Dover Tornadoes will play host to the Canton South Wildcats. Greg, I know you're looking forward to that one. I sure am. I've, uh, this is my 27th year of teaching at Canton South, so uh, definitely looking forward to that one next week. Well, we're looking forward to your advanced scouting report of the Wildcats <laughs> for sure. We're going to count on some very, very in-depth knowledge. Put some pressure on the new guy. That's right. That is Justice Hughes on the return for the Tornadoes as he'll take it out to the 33-yard line there. Dover sets up first down and 10. Now let's see if this Tornadoes offense can uh, react to this touchdown. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, they've, they've moved the ball really well. They've just stalled their last two possessions with the two missed field goals. So uh, let's see if they can put a, a drive together and counter the green touchdown. 33-yard line, first down and 10. Judkins has Hughes set up to his left. 
One receiver wide on each side. On first down, give to Hughes. Cuts it up the middle, finds a gap, spins, breaks a tackle. He's got the first down as he'll carry it out to the 45-yard line. Defensively, hanging on for life was linebacker Caden Werner. The 5'9 junior makes the stop for Green, but it's a first down for Dover. I'm really enjoying watching these running backs run. You'll see uh, Hughes, he is met right there after about a three or four yard gain, keeps the feet going, makes a little spin move. Some weight room, uh, I'm, I'm sure some weight room has something to do with those last <laughs> few yards that he got right there. So great job by Hughes. At the 45, first and 10, Dover. Give to Hughes, Hughes again. And he'll carry to near midfield. 528 clock running here in the first half. Maybe this is why I, I got out of coaching. Dover pulled both guards to the left, but the running play went to the right. <laughs> Green did that and scored a touchdown. Dover got four yards on it. It's it's tough to tough to coach your linebackers up on these all these uh, these guards pulling the wrong way and it, it's it's tough. You can see on our scoreboard the little yellow bars under each team name. Those are timeouts remaining for both teams. So Dover has one and Green has two as we're in the final minutes of the first half. Here's Hughes, Hughes with another huge hole and he carries all the way down inside the Green 40. First down, Dover. That time the lineman pulled to the right and the handoff went to the right. Hughes another big hole, big gap, big gainer. You see the left guard and the left tackle pulling right. Hughes getting the ball, great job up front by the Dover offensive line, creating space for Hughes to get up in there and use that speed and get up into that hole. But another big gainer for Dover. Another replay brought to you by Denison Yard. First and 10 at the 38. Make it the 37 of Green. Empty backfield. Fake. Judkins looks. Fires down the field. He has a man open. It's caught. Touchdown, Dover. What As the catch made by Colin Bruno. What a great catch by Bruno, not giving up on the play. Judkins was faking the play to the left. He was booting out to the right. He was looking for Blickensturfer, I believe, on the right side. Came back, and uh, we see here on the replay, we got the fake coming there to, to, to Clark. The left guard is pulling right on the boot. Judkins is looking for, I, I think it's Blickensturfer. Comes back, looks at his secondary read. Bruno doesn't give up on the play. And a big play for Dover. Domino's Pizza, big play, replay, puts Dover back on top. And here is the extra point attempt. And it goes through. <laughs> Nick that bar. Uh, was, that just, was that just a one doink or was that a double doink? I don't know. I don't know. It's 14 to 7. Tornadoes now with 412 left here in the first half. Miller Clothing and Shoes, from suits to work boots, you gotta try Miller Clothing and Shoes. Marty Miller will make you the best dressed guy in town. In downtown New Philadelphia, visit Miller Clothing and Shoes. Judkins now eight for 10 on the night, 105 yards, has the touchdown now. Don't forget, coming up at the half, it's our Ferris Chevrolet Halftime Report. We'll get the first half stats from our stat guy, Scott Steyer. Greg Williams will have those for you, and we'll also uh, talk about the first half and look forward to the second half. It's the Ferris Chevrolet Halftime Report coming up in moments here on Big Time Sports. Well, we asked the question, how would Dover react after the touchdown by Green? I think they just showed us what they're made of. Pretty well, thank you very much. Marlette to kick it away. Reed and Kuznick are deep. Reed bobbles it, picks it up inside the five to the 15. Running room for Reed, 30. And out near the 40 yard line is Evan Reed sets up a nice return there for Green with more 404 left in the half. It's funny how it happens sometimes, and, and I've seen it over and over over the last 25 years or so. A returner muffs the, muffs the, the ball, kind of fumbles it around, and, and I don't know what kind of an effect it has on the, on the coverage team, but it seems like a lot of times when that happens, a big lane opens up. 
and uh, Breed has the ball out over the 30-yard line. Good field position for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs trailing 14-7. to Anthony McMichael now checks in at running back in the pistol formation behind junior quarterback Tyler Hunka. It's McMichael. Tried to sweep left side, breaks one tackle, and he shows pretty good speed as he is out for a first down for Green. That's a pickup of 11 out to the 49. So we had Reed the last series. Now we got McMichael in there. A little bit smaller back, maybe a little bit quicker. Showing some moves, getting, getting a good gain out there. About both, 12, 13 yards, I think. Both are juniors. And uh, again, Green looking to run the ball more this year. First and 10. It's McMichael again. Running room and more. McMichael almost broke it. And he'll carry down inside the Dover 40-yard line. Green's really wearing on the Dover defense these last couple of series. A lot of guys from Dover. And, and, and just as I say that, Dover switches out their defensive line. Uh, it's, uh, you get more tired playing defense than you do offense. I know Dover has a lot of guys going both ways. First and 10 now at the Dover, 38. And Hunka gonna throw. Fires left side, caught, flag on the play. Catch is made down inside the Dover 25 yard line. That is Anthony Giorgio, but again, a flag back near the 40. Looks like they're signaling illegal man downfield. Mm -hmm. One of the offensive linemen downfield for, for Green going to wipe out a, a big play. They'll mark it back now against Green. That goes back to the 43. It's a nice throw by Hunka on that last pa on that last play for Green. First and 15 now back at the 43. Just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Good ball game, 14 to seven, Dover on top on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. It's McMichael straight ahead and he is cut down after a short gain. Picks up two, second down and 13 coming up. Green back to the running game. McMichael in between the tackles. Picked up a few yards, but uh, that penalty has put Green behind the sticks. McMichael out, Reed back in. And looks like Green will go empty backfield here on second and 13. Reed in motion, fake to him, Hunka gonna keep. Trying to get outside, Hunka is gonna be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And defensively, the play made by number 10, Liam Mast, the 5'9", junior safety, came up and corralled Hunka. That was a great play by Mast. That was a, a blocking scheme we've seen before. You'll see the left guard and tackle for Green. Sorry, the right guard and right tackle points, a quarterback counter play. Great job by 54 for Dover. That's uh, McKendry. That's I'm a sorry. Mount Hope defensive re replay. Hunka to throw. Bubble screen and the catch is made, but a short gain only as cutting inside and making the reception was number 18, Caden Gregory. Yeah, Green picked up picked up a few. Looks like uh, looks like they're gonna go for it. Fourth down, and we'll call it eight at the 36-yard line. Clock running. Closing in on a minute to go in the half. Be interesting to see what Green does here. They had two timeouts, didn't use them there. Hunka gonna go deep down the field, has a man wide open, caught Reed, touchdown! What a pass by Hunka, great pass protection by the Green offensive line. Looked like Reed ran a deep wheel route up there to the wide side. Great catch by Reed. Here comes the replay. Domino's Pizza, big play, replay, Greg. Reed was the inside receiver. The two outside receivers ran in. Uh, Reed ran around them, called a wheel route, found himself wide open for the touchdown. 
Papa Bears big play replay. Logan Noro extra point is good and with 49 seconds to go here in the first half, we've got a brand new ball game. Dover 14, Green 14. Couldn't ask for anything better than this on opening night. How about that? Lots of big plays offensively, some good plays defensively. Good quarterback play, good running back play. The concrete material provider you can count on is Stocker Concrete. Stocker Concrete can provide you with topsoil and gravel for your project. For all your concrete materials, it's Stocker Concrete in Gnaden Hutton. After that big pass play, Hunka now four of six for uh, 53 yards and a touchdown. Very efficient. Ferris Chevrolet halftime report coming up. We'll give you the first half numbers. We'll recap the first half scoring and talk about the second half. Opening week of high school football, Dover and Green deadlocked at 14 here late in the first half. McMichael set to kick off for Green. Back deep, Justice Hughes and Dalen Clark for Dover. Michael approaches end over end kick it'll be Dalen Clark inside the five 20 running room for Clark spins flag on the play Clark still on his feet and two more flags all the way down inside of green territory, but I think it's going to come back, Greg. Uh, four flags on the field. Uh, <laughs> I th think there was probably uh, an illegal block or two. Unfortunate for Dover. That was a great return by Clark. Now with, uh, with only 38 seconds and one timeout, and bad field position. We'll see what uh, Dover elects to do here before, before halftime. Four flags. <laughs> Got a hold in there among the four. Yeah, Dover's <laughs> going to be backed up, uh, looks like back inside their own 20. They're going to put this back and set it down at the 17. So again, 38 seconds to go. Dover has one timeout to work with. Usually what a team will try to do is run a play and, and try and pick up a first down and then go from there. If they get nothing, they'll probably just take it in, uh, tied up at 14 at halftime. Give to Hughes. Hughes is hit in the backfield and knocked down hard and breaking through was number 22. Rowan Yule put the hit on him. Yule's made a couple of big plays for the Bulldog defense. Loss of four yards back to the 14. Clock running on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Looks Dover's like just going to let this run out. That's, that's what it looks like. Yep. That's going to do it for the first half. In the books here at Crater Stadium, our score, Dover 14, Green 14 on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Stay with us. Coming up next, the Ferris Chevrolet Halftime Report. At Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high-quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit waynedoor.com for a free quote today. Discover Little Caesars Pizza in New Philadelphia. Indulge in our delectable pizza varieties perfect for pickup or delivery. From classic pepperoni to mouthwatering supreme. 
Plus, we have wings, crazy bread, and much, much more. Enjoy the convenience and great taste of Little Caesars Pizza. Little Caesars, 539 West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Bringing you quality and convenience. So don't settle for anything less than the best. Little Caesars. Oak Shadows Golf Club is a premier 18-hole course that will surely bring your group back for another fun round. Oak Shadows offers panoramic views and is suitable for all skill levels. Our bent grass fairways, tees, and greens will offer you a comfortable and enjoyable experience. For your tee time, call 330-343-2426 or at oakshadowsgolf at gmail.com. Hey, other guys, insurance, you got Kyle. Hi, Kyle. It's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal, and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently, decrease employee turnover, and increase your bottom line. Welcome to Action Extreme Sports, Northeast Ohio's top dealer for Gas Gas, KTM, Kimco, Landmaster, and YCF. Check out our awesome selection of motorcycles, dirt bikes, ATVs, UTVs, and electric bikes. New or used, we've got it all. Located in New Philadelphia, near Canton and Akron. Visit or call us today for unbeatable sales, service, parts, and financing. Action Extreme Sports, your adventure starts here. Back at Dover's Crater Stadium, we're at the half. Our score is Green 14 and Dover 14 on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Our halftime show is being brought to you by Ferris Chevrolet. The halftime report, Dave Sheets along with Greg Williams and statistician Scott Stair. And Greg, this first half, really a lot of back and forth. Uh, a couple of missed field goals by Dover, kind of the difference in this one. And we've got a, a, a great ball game so far here tonight. Yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more for my first game. A lot of big plays. Uh, I'm, I'm having a blast up here. Well, let's take a look at our halftime numbers here at our Ferris Chevrolet halftime report. What do you see? Well, I think the number that sticks out right there is the rushing yards for Green. Mm -hmm. uh, last year being more five wide, especially at the beginning of the year, they've got 172 rushing yards. Uh, most of those yards coming with Evan Reed. Uh, Dover has 50 rushing yards. Uh, if we look at the passing yards, uh, Green has 53 yards, most coming on that big play, that touchdown before halftime to Reed from Hunka. Uh, Dover has 105 yards passing. Uh, the first downs, it's a lot of first downs and a half. Both uh, uh, have over 10 first downs. You see Green with 14 and Dover with 12. Uh, penalties, four for 45 for Green, three for 20 for Dover. And uh, Green had the one fumble that, uh, that did not hurt them. So uh, pretty clean ball game otherwise. All right, Greg, uh, looking ahead to the second half, what would, would you, what would you expect to see from both these teams? Well, first of all, looking at Green, I, I would expect Green to try and wear down Dover. Uh, knowing that a lot of Dover's players are going both ways, I would expect to, to see a lot of Reed uh, and a lot of McMichael out of that backfield. Uh, for Dover, I think, uh, you know, they've moved the ball really well. Uh, I think they're going to keep doing what they've been doing, trying to get the, the ball to those, those speedy athletes uh, so that they can c continue to make plays like they have. Uh, in the first half. All right, that's going to do it for our Ferris Chevrolet halftime report. Our score, Green 14, Dover 14 on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. When we come back, we'll have the second half kickoff right here on Big Time Sports. Searching for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local, familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top-performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. Not like your average high school. You start with something that you love. Just getting hands-on is way different from sitting in a classroom. Every day is different. You come across a problem, you have to tackle that problem, you have to figure out how to tackle the problem. Skills I've acquired through just my lab 
in itself have been mind blowing. Definitely here at Buckeye, they prepare you for any situation that you could go into after high school. Charlie Jones here for Mount Witch Tavern. The very best in steaks or pork chops are at Mount Witch Tavern in Strasburg. Served on a sizzling platter to enhance your steak, you will soon agree it's the best. Our pasta with our homemade sauce and succulent seafood are also favorites. Don't be shy. Give Mount Witch Tavern a try. I'll see you there soon. This is Dover Break, Inc., a legacy spanning three generations at 9670 State Route 250 Northwest in Strasburg, Ohio. Your dedicated brake specialists committed to top-notch truck maintenance. Trust us for unmatched expertise and service. Your safety on the road is our priority. For information on service, parts, and a lot more, log on to DoverBrakeInc.com, where generations of excellence meet truck maintenance perfection. I'm Dr. Michele Ayoni. At Avacian Athletics, our fuel move recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. Introducing Uncle Primo's, where culinary expertise meets passion. Uncle Primo's, where we're crafting outstanding steaks and succulent seafood like never before. Our passion for the perfect dish is unmatched. We take pride in every Italian creation, boasting our lasagna as unbeatable. And our Primo salad, a timeless classic, always fresh, always delicious. Good food and good company, because here we're making restaurant history one dish at a time. Back at Dover's Crater Stadium, moments away from the start of the second half on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Our score, Green 14, Dover 14. Glad you're with us. The opening night of the 2024 high school football season right here on Big Time Sports. We have a tremendous broadcast schedule for you in this 2024 season. We look forward to uh, seeing a lot of different teams, both in Tuscross County and in Stark County. And, Greg, we've had ourselves a... Tremendous first half. Can't wait to watch the rest of this one. If the second half is just like the first half, uh, you know, we're, we're in for a real exciting uh, week number one right here. Both teams getting ready to start this second half. Mark Geis, the head coach of the Green Bulldogs. They are in a new region this year in the OHSAA regional playoffs uh, they have moved the Bulldogs from division two region seven to region five uh, region five includes the likes of Akron Hoban that's not what you want to hear so that'll be a tough road no matter what they have had uh, several great seasons in a row inclu including winning 10 games last year in their two scrimmages they faced Wadsworth and New Philadelphia Coach Geis in his sixth season as the Green head coach and 22 years of coaching overall in high school football. We are set to go now. Dover will receive the second half kickoff on a beautiful night. No breeze at all, very comfortable, low humidity. And the second half moments away. McMichael, short kick. Clark runs up on it. Inside the 20, 25, and to the 30-yard line before he is brought down. Good job by the green kickoff coverage team staying in their lanes, bottling up Clark. After watching those NFL games, it's nice to see a kickoff, isn't it? You bet. How about Judkins in the first half, Greg? Uh, Judkins was 8 for 10, 105 yards, uh, did a real nice job, uh, didn't make any mistakes. Uh, had to take a couple of sacks, but, uh, but, but that's okay. It's better than throwing one uh, errantly to be picked off. So we'll look for uh, Judkins to, to continue uh, being a you know, pretty good marksman here in the second half. And Dover's leading rusher in the first half, Justice Hughes. Eight carries, 52 yards. 
First and 10 at the 31, the give to Hughes. Runs right into the linebacker, Fortunato, and no gain. Back to the 31 before he is shoved back. And it'll bring up second down and 10. Fortunato with stepping up, reading that play, making a great stop there for Green. He's, he's tough. He's a good one. You know, in my many years of doing games, Greg, I have a lot of people say, you know, how do you – how do you decide who to cheer for when you're doing these games? And I say, I don't, I don't cheer for anybody. I cheer for a close game. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Make, makes our job a lot more enjoyable for 14 sure. 14 here starting the second half as Judkins looks, biding his time. Chase now lets it fly. Clark has it midfield and gets out of bounds inside the 45 yard line. Jack Judkins showing great patience there, Greg. Let's talk about that pass protection by the Dover offensive line. Judkins being able to scramble and find uh, his receiver there, Clark. Great job by Judkins. Dalen Clark with the reception, the 5'8", speedster, 160 pounds and a senior. Younger brother, Dante Clark, just a freshman starting on defense. First and 10, Dover at the 43 of Green. Hughes in the pistol behind Judkins on first down. Gives to Hughes, and Green defensively smells it out and stuffs the running back for a loss. Looked like Zane Alcotti on the play there. Great job up front by the, uh, the Green Bulldogs, front seven. That's a loss of three. Second and 13, ball back at the 46. Just underway here, starting the second half. Hughes to the right of Judkins. Judkins steps up, has some running room, and slides down close to the 35-yard line. Good decision by Judkins to tuck it and take off. Sure was. Didn't see anybody open. Tuck the ball under. You'll see Judkins. Good pass protection again by the Dover offensive line. Looking for his receivers. Can't find anybody. Scrambles. Gets a, some positive yards. Now Dover has a, a manageable third down to pick up here. All our replays brought to you by our good friends at Denison Yard. Third down and a long four from the 37 of Green. Pistol formation as Judkins looks to throw. Fires, tipped and batted away. Defensive play there made by the linebacker number four, Aiden Clark, the 6'1 senior, got a paw on it. If he doesn't, Blickensturfer catches that ball, certainly for a first down and, 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 and most likely a real big play. That was a great play Okay, there by Clark. Dover gonna go for it here be a really long field goal and now we've got timeout signaled official timeout gives Dover a little bit of time to think about what they want to do here on fourth and four fourth and four time to bring you our fan cam and we talked about this earlier a huge showing for the Dover student section tonight our fan cam brought to you by the dover dental group and it looks like it's hawaiian night greg hawaiian <laughs> night <laughs> dave and i have our lays and our hula scoop skirts out up here in the, in the press box that's, also that student section is packed there's a pass caught is that shy or hughes hughes made the grab and the green defense stuffed that play and the Green Bulldogs will take over on downs. Pretty good opening drive for Dover, but again, this is uh, about the third time that the Green uh, defense has stepped up uh, and held Dover out of the end zone, and and uh, they, they could be a they could be a lot more lopsided score right now. But uh, Green's Green's defense stepping up time after time. I want to thank our friends at the Dover Dental Group for sponsoring our fan cam here tonight and all season long. First and 10 now as Green takes over at their own 36-yard line. 
Tyler Hunka, the quarterback, tosses it out to the running back, Evan Reed. Reed turns the corner, 45, and out near midfield. Flag comes in as he was tackled out of bounds. Then they'll tack on 15 more yards at the end of that run. Reed had a big first half. Yes, he sure did. Uh, over 100 yards rushing. Uh, that play right there, we've seen that a couple of times. Green put four receivers this time to the field side, pitched the ball out there to Green, and he picked up uh, big yardage. Uh, looks like 15 more yards tacked on top. So Evan Reed continues to add to his total. It's up to 114 yards on 10 carries. Mm. And after the penalty, ball is set down at the Dover 38-yard line. There's Reed along with his quarterback, Tyler Hunka. over nine minutes to go in the third quarter tie ball game first possession of the second half for green pistol formation read behind hunka give to reed reed straight ahead reed breaks the tackle and dragged down inside the 35 down close to the 32 green put the formation into the bench meaning they put more receivers up to the to the short side of the field, chose to run back to the wide side, pulling the backside guard. Another good gain for Reed. Almost seven yards on that first down carry. Second down at a long three. Reed again, right up the middle and lots of running room as he found another gap. He's got the first down and he's down inside the Dover 25. Reed moving the chains once again on the inside zone play. Good push up front by that uh, by that green offensive line. We said they're, they're not they're not huge, but they're doing a nice job. Ball at the 24. Out of the pistol again. It's Reed again, and Reed is breaking tackles and still on his feet inside the 20 yard line. The initial hit was made by number 54, the defensive end, Jack McKinnon. Somehow Reed got out of it and picked up additional yardage. McKinnon's a, McKinnon is a tough player in there too. Reed just kept his legs turning. We saw that play before with a formation to the bench. Uh, the guard backside right guard pulling. Reed taking defenders for seven yards. Credit that green offensive line. They are getting the job done right now. Second down and a long three coming up. Play clock at 10. And it's to read again, and this time Dover says, not so fast. <laughs> that time it was TJ Arnold and Mason Royer combining in the backfield to clamp down on Reed and it's our Mount Hope defensive leap replay. Yeah, we've seen this play before. This time Dover defense is ready for it. Great play, play by number 11 Royer. Number 56 Arnold bringing up a key third and six. Third down and six and now we've got a timeout. Coach Geis signals for a timeout. 6.57 to go in the third quarter. It's Dover 14, Green 14 on Big Time Sports. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, self-screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, 
close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team specialist since 1977. Since 1953, Millersburg Tire has carried on the family tradition of selling and servicing your farm and family passenger tire needs. To meet our customers' needs in present day, we built the Red Hanna Tire Building to service big trucks even better. At Millersburg Tire, we sell tires to fit any vehicle and pride ourselves in sales and service. Our motto is simple. If it runs on rubber, we have it for your vehicle. Unleash the champion in you at T-County Boxing Academy. From beginners to seasoned pros, our classes are tailored for every age and skill level. Get ready to jab, hook, and cross your way to greatness with our expert trainers. Join a community where everyone is welcome to embrace the power within. It's not just a workout, it's a journey to a stronger, more confident you. T-County Boxing Academy, where champions are made. Sign up now and step into the ring of endless possibilities. Beaver Constructors is a full-service general contractor delivering top-notch commercial construction management, general contracting, and design-build services across Ohio. We prioritize doing things the right way, ensuring the highest quality in every project from critical infrastructure to facility improvements. Beaver Excavating excels in heavy civil contracting for commercial, industrial, and transportation sectors. We believe in making a positive impact through community involvement and client satisfaction. Welcome to Willis Group Realty, where service meets excellence. At Willis Group Realty, we pride ourselves on customer service. We ensure smart investment choices for a secure future. And we give back to the community because we believe in building stronger neighborhoods. Commercial, residential, land. Whatever your real estate needs, Willis Group Realty has you covered. Willis Group Realty, welcome home. Back at Dover with just under seven minutes to go in the third quarter. There you see the Tornado's defense as they are facing a third down play here now. Green with the football. Third and a long six coming up for Green in a tie game. McMichael in at running back now for the Bulldogs. Lining up in the pistol behind Hunka. Kind of a bunch formation on this near side. Now they'll shift. Long count. Flag comes in, and we've got a false start. Big penalty there, Greg. Sure is. Going from third and six to third and 11. Green probably could have ran the ball a couple of times to try to pick up the first down. Now let's see what they do. Might have to turn to the pass. Reed in, now he'll come back out. McMichael back in. Third and 11 at the 25. Hunka to throw. Over the middle, catch is made. Down near the 10 yard line, first down green. Catch is made by number seven, Anthony Fortunato. First time we've called his name tonight, the 6'2", 185 pound senior with the grab. What a great route by Fortunato. Ran a curl route right at the sticks. Settled in the void in the, in the clean area there. Great pass by Hunka to pick up the first down. The Fortunato brothers, uh, outstanding basketball players as well. This is Reed on the carry and look at him fight for yards. He does not go down easily. And he'll carry it down near the six yard line Reed looked to pick up only uh, maybe a yard or no gain, but kept those kept those legs going and picked up three or four key yards there. Those are big yards inside the 10-yard line. Second and goal, ball at the Dover six. Coming up on six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Give to Reed. Reed breaks a tackle, and he is then cut down by Blinkensdurfer down near the three, but a flag comes in. Usually in the area of holding. Greg, you are a fantastic prognosticator. 
Usually when the umpire throws the flag, it's 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 usually uh, it's usually holding in there. Mm -hmm. Well, that can be a drive killer. Oh, that's that's killer. Second and goal from the 15. Those are 15 difficult yards to pick up. Ball is at the 16. It's second and goal. Uh oh, busted play. Hunka gonna keep. Hunka inside the 10. He turned and wanted to hand it off to Reed, but went the other direction, didn't he? I think you're right. I think that was a busted play, but w what Hunka did was really smart. He he followed the blocking scheme <laughs> as if he was the running back right. and uh, picked up uh, seven. Picked up seven. Great job. Heads up play by Hunka. Third down and goal at the Dover nine. And now another timeout, water break maybe. Oh, we've got a lineman down for green. And we're going to keep it right here with 5-12 to go, third quarter, Dover 14 and green 14. That looks like cramps. You know, in my experiences, when you see one cramp, it seems like you see another and another and another. <laughs> it's, de it's definitely <laughs> contagious. And even though we've talked about how nice it is and it's low humidity, it, it's still week one. And, and these kids are out there giving it their all. And you just see a lot of cramping up early season. Hey, if you're having trouble hearing or you can't quite get the whole conversation, you need Dr. Justin Garion at Hear Inc. Call for your appointment with Hear Inc. at 234 Three four seven zero one five five. That's two three four, three four seven zero one five five for here ink, and you might just see mellow tones. Charlie Jones there. So that's a one of the big offensive linemen for Green. That's Alquati. Zane Alquati, the six foot, 254 pound junior. Real nice player up front for the Bulldogs. Left guard. Get him over there and get some fluids in him and hopefully get the young man back out on the field. So it's third down and goal just inside the nine yard line. Two re receivers to each side. Now they'll send Reed in motion. Hunka fires. It's caught and dragged down at the five-yard line. Catch is made by Kuznick. And a nice play defensively. Number 10, that is Liam Mass, the safety. Saved a touchdown here, Greg. He, he sure did. This was the shallow cross. You see the inside receivers for Green crossing short. Nice pass by Hunka, but an even better tackle by Mast. Touchdown saving tackle. Great play. Here comes a field goal try for Logan Noro. Twenty two yard attempt on its way. It is good. And Green, for the first time tonight, has the lead. 4.20 to go in the third quarter. Green 17, Dover 14. Another impressive drive for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it sure was. Uh, mostly on the ground, but uh, also a couple nice pass plays, a couple heads up, nice heads up plays by Hunka. We talked uh, keys of the game about special teams. So we talk about field goals. Green now one for one, Dover zero for two. Mm -hmm. So Green has the lead here with a little more than four minutes to go in the third quarter. We figured we were going to have a close ball game tonight, and so far that has been the case. Excellent ball game. <laughs> Green now over 200 yards, uh, 200 yards rushing, 214 yards rushing tonight. Justice Hughes and Dalen Clark back deep for Dover. That was a nine play, 58 yard field goal drive for, uh, for the Green Bulldogs there. McMichael ready to kick it away for the Green Bulldogs. Short kick goes to the far side. 
Ball bounces up in the air, and it looks like Green is recovered. That looked like it went off the kicker's, the side of his foot. Dover had trouble covering up the ball, and Green's going to have field position inside the 35-yard line. Greg, we talked about one of our keys to the game as we'll watch this defensive replay. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was uh, done on purpose or not, but uh, a real uh, knuckleball kick out there that, uh, again, Dover was unable to, to cover up and uh, looked like number three for Green. Is that Hughes or is that Clark? That's uh, Giorgio. Oh, I'm sorry. For uh, for Green. Uh -huh. Mount Hope Benz, our sponsor of our defensive replay. We talked about one of our keys to the game being special teams. There you go. And this is Reed as he steps his way inside the 30. So you mentioned it. Green has a successful field goal. And Dover has missed two field goals. Now we have a turnover on a kickoff. And we've got one player from Dover down with cramps and now one player from Green with cramps. It's contagious. <laughs> Play stops with 4.05 to go here in the third quarter. Want to remind our viewers that week two of the season next Friday, August 30th, we'll be right back here at Crater Stadium as these Dover Tornadoes will take on the Canton South Wildcats who... Had a tremendous year last year, making a deep run into the postseason. It was a, a, a season that you dream about. And uh, I know being in the school and, and the excitement and everything, uh, Coach Dennison had had uh, had the boys rolling last year, and, and they had a great season. So looking forward to seeing the Wildcats uh, next Friday night right back here at Crater Stadium. And the uh, Stark County Player of the Year was the Outstanding quarterback and defensive back, Poochie Snyder, one of the great nicknames in high school football. Poochie Snyder, great uh, great kid, great family. I taught uh, all four of the Snyder kids. <laughs> uh, so uh, nice. he, was, he was the third one. Great kid. Great quarterback, but great kid. And there's another one coming? Uh, it's, 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 it's a girl. Uh -huh. So uh, she's, right. she's the youngest. She's a junior this year. So. Is she an athlete? Uh, she's a, she runs track and uh, – I think she's on the volleyball team as well. They're all athletes. Great kids, great family. Nice. All right. The players have been treated, and we are at a second down and about seven. And this is Reed. And he pounds again straight ahead, picks up about three more. These three-yard runs just kind of wear out the defense. Noticing up front that green offensive line just getting a push and getting a push. Those three-yard runs turn into seven-yard runs, and they turn into 15-yard runs. Tip of the hat to Lombardi, Alquati, McKendry, Knowlton, and White. Three seniors, two juniors up front, the big guys, making holes for Evan Reed. Third and about five. Fake to Reed. Hunka in trouble. Gets away. Now brought down, and he'll be... Sack, that's going to be a loss of a yard back to the 29. Hunka has shown some escapability, but uh, not able to get away that time. Mason Royer was in the backfield once again. That's about the third or fourth time he's been in the, uh, in, in the, green, uh, in the green backfield. We'll see here in the replay. Hunka's going to fake the run here and boot out to his left. And you're going to see number 11 for Dover Royer. Yep. He doesn't make the play. But he turns it back inside. That, that looks like number 50 who ends up finishing it off for Dover. Colton Gribble, nice play. Fourth down and six. And a flag comes in from the near side. We've got a false start on the offense. Again, too long for a field goal try. Yep. So they're going to go for it here. This makes it a little more difficult. These are the penalties that give those coaches gray hairs. Unforced errors. Yeah, but but I will say, you know, it's week one. It's you have week to have a one. little bit of grace, right? <laughs> you remember that? Very little grace. <laughs> <laughs> so now it'll be fourth and 12 at the 34 of Dover. Empty backfield for Tyler Hunka. He'll look. He'll throw. Down the field for Reed, and it's incomplete. 
Blickensdorfer came over at the last moment. Looked like he had Reed open deep down the middle of the field. Good pass protection by the green offensive line. Pretty good pass by Hunka. Blickensdorfer came across and knocked the ball away. Reed is down and they're treating him for a cramp now, but that pass, I'm not sure even if Blickensdorfer Durfer came over, I'm not sure that Reed would have been able to make that catch anyway. It was close. It was close. He, he definitely was open. 2.14 to go here in the third quarter. Green 17, Dover 14. While we have a moment, when traveling in Northeast Ohio, look for the red, white, and blue marathon sign. Bell Stores features delicious ice cream and coffee and your favorite travel food. When you are on the road, make Bell Stores your travel partner. Hey, turnovers usually are, are, are a killer here in these football games, but uh, Green turned the ball over early, and they were able to, to turn Dover away, and, and, and this drive right here came after the, the kickoff that Dover couldn't come up with, and Dover's defense did a nice job of uh, preventing uh, Green from scoring more points. Well, Evan Reed walking slowly off the field. He's a, a two-way performer. He plays outside linebacker on defense, so they're going to have to find a spot for him. There you see him with Coach Geis. What's his rushing total up to up to now? Oh, uh, let's Greg. see. 17 carries, 142 yards, and a touchdown for Mr. Reed. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of production walking off to the sidelines. It is. Taking over on downs now. Dover at their own 34. Pistol formation. Judkins rolling to his right. He'll let it fly. Sideline. Shy. Tipped. And is it intercepted? They're going to rule it an interception. A diving interception for number 18, Caden Gregory. The fans down below us are... Uh, Booing a bit because they thought he might have been out of bounds, but the official says, nope, the catch is good, and it's another turnover. That was a that was a great catch by Gregory. Oh, amazing. Great interception. Wow. It was, it was intended for shy, and we'll see it here. A Mount Hope defensive replay, Greg. Judkins is rolling to his right. He had one receiver run in the fly and another run in the, the, the deep bench cut. Let's see if we can tell if he was in bounds. It's tipped. It was close. close, really close, really close. Hunka going to keep it, and he dives forward close to midfield on that first down run. So after the big turnover, can Dover's defense stop the green offense once again? Evan Reed remains on the sideline as junior Anthony McMichael now in at running back. We saw him at times in the first half. Second and three. And Hunka keeps. Hunka inside Dover territory, just at the 50 yard line. And he's going to be short of the first down by about a yard. Hunka making the read on that. Right guard, right tackle, pulling left, as well as the running back, faking to the left. Hunka making his read and keeping it for a couple of yards. Coming up on one minute to go here in the third quarter. Green by three on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Third down and a yard to go for the Bulldogs. McMichael, first down and more as he carries inside the Dover 45-yard line. That's a gain of six on that third down. Grant Smith nearly making a big play in the backfield for the Tornadoes. McMichael able to score. Squirt through for the for the first down. Ball at the Dover 44 yard line. Under a minute to go now. Third quarter. Since about midway through the second quarter, that green offensive line has come to life. And their rushing attack has been dominant. Toss to McMichael. Look at his running room. And he's got another first down. Carries it down near the 33 of Dover. We've seen this pitch play a few times. Reed has run that play. Now Anthony McMichael. Four carries for 31 yards for McMichael. All right. It seems like this offensive line continues to do the job up front. 
wearing down that Dover defense. This clock is going to run down to the end of the quarter. 17 to 14 our score in favor of Green. And we have played three quarters here at Crater Stadium in Dover. Fourth quarter coming up next on Big Time Sports. Make an appointment to give. On February 19, 2007, my Humvee was hit by a roadside bomb. I feel like I should have died on the battlefield, but I'm here. I feel like God's given me an opportunity to grow as an individual and have another lease on life. The Coalition of Pseudo America's Heroes is the leading nonprofit that is helping veterans across this nation. They've already saved countless lives, and they can save countless more lives. We need your help. Your local energy partner. Embrace the benefits of domestic oil production with us. We pride ourselves on safe and environmentally responsible practices, ensuring minimal impact on Ohio's beautiful landscape. Our dedicated team is committed to meeting energy demands while preserving nature's beauty. PAC Drilling is a big supporter of high school athletics and academics. We wish our athletes the very best on the field and in the classroom. You can recover so much faster in the comfort of your It's not easy caring for an aging parent. At Ember Complete Home Health Care in Eurexville, we can help you full time or just a few hours a week. We can develop a customized care plan. Call 740-922-6888 or learn more at embercomplete.com. Spring into savings at Parkway CDJR. We're offering the lowest prices of the year. Lease a 2024 Grand Cherokee for only $339 for 39 months. 2024 Jeep Compasses starting at only $269 a month. If a Dodge Ram is in your plans, then a 2024 Crew Cab Tradesman is only $329 for 42 months or take $12,000 off MSRP. All remaining 2023 models will be sold at dealer employee pricing. Get to Parkway CDJR today for your best selection and the absolute best price. Wendy's has new saucy nugs. And if Wendy's found a way to make their nugs even better, anything is sauceable! For a whole new way to nug, gotta be Wendy's. Open till midnight or later. Wendy's has new saucy nugs. And if Wendy's found a way to make their nugs even better, anything is sauceable! For a whole new way to nug, gotta be Wendy's. Open till midnight or later. We are farmers. Come to Sam and Sue's Barbecue. Located at 237 West Front Street, Dover, with a full service bar. We offer carry out, catering, and a dine in area. We do take reservations Monday through Wednesday. It's the best for me and you, Sam, is barbecue. Our barbecue is true barbecue. We smoke all of our own meats in house with our homemade rubs and match it perfectly with our sweet barbecue sauce. Come and see us soon. Back at Dover, start of the fourth quarter on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Green has a three-point lead, first and ten, and it's Hunk of the quarterback on a keeper. Picks up a yard maybe to the 32-yard line on first down. This seems to be a critical, uh, a critical series for both teams here. Green can take this into the end zone and, and go up two scores. It's going to be big. Yeah, the way Green's defense has been playing lately, just three points in that third quarter scored by the Green Bulldogs to take the lead. McMichael in motion. Hunka going to throw it out to him. Has some running room to the 30. Breaks a tackle to the 20. Cuts it outside and finally dragged down all the way down inside the 10 of Dover. And McMichael shows his quickness and speed there on that reception. Yes, he did. He went in motion. Got out real nice and wide. Hunka got the ball out to him. Let's take a look at the replay here. You see McMichael in motion. Hunka gets it out to him, leads him right in stride. He's gonna break a tackle right there. Breaks another tackle. 
And a touchdown for the Green Bulldogs as Anthony McMichael takes it in. With just under 11 minutes left in the game, the Bulldogs increase their lead to nine. Yeah, right during the, the, the last replay, it looked like uh, Green got up there and ran a quick one. They did, and it was McMichael who took it in for the touchdown. No row. Extra point attempt. The kick is up and good. And now Green has opened up a 10-point lead. It's 24 to 14 with 10.59 left. And again, the ability of Green to run the football, Greg. Yeah, we talked uh, in the pregame about uh, Antonio Martin, whether he would play or not, and if he didn't, who would step up? I mean, it's a two-headed monster over there in the, uh, in the Green backfield. Reed and uh, McMichael, I mean, it looks like they're, uh, they're gonna have a nice one-two punch here all season long with those two guys. And I know that's one of the components that Coach Geis was hoping for. He felt like he had two talented running backs and would they be able to, to show up in the regular season? Well, they have so far tonight, that's mm -hmm. for sure. I believe they're both juniors, so. Right. Coach Geis might have a couple of years of this. What do we have now for green team rushing totals? 39 carries, 254 yards. Wow. Averaging huh. 6.5 yards a carry. Impressive. I'm glad you mentioned those offensive linemen up front. Being a, an old offensive lineman myself, we don't get too much press. They're getting the job done. McMichael set to kick it away. Dover with some work to do now here in this fourth quarter. They're down 10. And that was an eight-play, 67-yard touchdown drive for Green. Dover has a lot of time. End over end kick. It'll be Dalen Clark straight ahead. 20, 25, and across the 30. Good field position here coming up. Now a flag comes in. I think we're going to get an unsportsmanlike coming up against Green. Let's see. On the kick return. Officials talking it over. Be a big boost to Dover if they get this 15 yards. Yeah. They're going to get the ball out close to midfield to start right. this drive. Talk about the penalties that give the coaches the gray hairs. Those might be worse than the false starts. All right, the ball is at the Dover 48. Tornadoes with a first down and 10. Green's eighth penalty for 80 yards. Hmm. Yeah, that's another thing you expect to see early in the season. A lot of penalties. It's going to be Judkins on the keep. Midfield and then dragged down. Defensive play made by number seven, Anthony Fortunato. Nice tackle by Fortunato. Limiting Judkins to a five-yard run. Looked like he had some space. One of the corners. I notice now on defense that... Uh, Evan Reed is back out there at outside linebacker. Had the cramps earlier. He's back now on defense. Positive, positive news for the Bulldogs. Second and six. Pistol formation at the 48 of green. Judkins rolling, looking, guns it right side. And that is Blickensdurfer. He's going to have the first down, I believe. No, he had it, but he had to come back and make the catch. And then when he started back up field, he was behind the sticks. So yeah, did a nice job coming back to the ball and making that reception. Dennison Jud yard replay here. Judkins is going to sprint out to his right. Had the smash route. Blickensturfer was the outside receiver. Coming back to the sticks, comes back, makes a nice catch. Bring it up third and short for Dover. Good job by the green defense not to let Blickensdurfer get away there. Third and one now at the green 43. And Dover is going to call a timeout. Timeout for the Tornadoes. Their first here in the second half. 
9.24 to go on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Didn't appear as if uh, Coach Yift wanted to use that timeout, but it's it, it's a critical third and one, so they really got to get the right play call here and, and, and pick up this first down. On the other side, Green's going to try and come up with something to make the big stop. For your next building project, why not work with a company that is trusted, experienced, and bonded? How about contacting Superior Insulation? Superior Insulation, that's the company you want working for you. Coming up at the end of our game tonight, we will have our Altman Hospital wrap-up show. We'll have all the final stats for you, recap of tonight's game. And we'll be announcing our Clars XL screen printing player of the game. We've got some leading candidates, Greg, but uh, we're not ready to make that final decision just well, yet. We've got we? nine minutes and 24 seconds left, so let's, uh, let's see what comes of it. Third down and one for Dover. Toss to Hughes. Hughes sweeping to the left. He's got the first down, and he's shoved out of bounds on that Dover sideline after a gain of about five. Dover going old school, under center. First time we've seen a snap from under center tonight. Don't see that a whole lot in high school football anymore. Pitching the ball out to Hughes. Hughes picking up the big first down. Ball's at the green, 39. Clock is on the side of the Green Bulldogs with that 10-point lead. Pistol formation, Hughes lines up behind Judkins. Low snap, Hughes has it, and he has cut down A.J. Fortunato, the inside linebacker, with the open field tackle. Yeah, Fortunato's playing really well at his uh, inside linebacker spot. Over 100 tackles last year. He's well on his way already this year. Limits Hughes to three yards on that carry. Second and seven now. Ball near the 36. Hughes to the left of Judkins in the backfield. Fakes. Judkins in trouble. And he is slammed down back at the 40-yard line. And Fortunato was there along with number four. That is... Aiden Clark. Great play by Aiden Clark. Outside linebacker, 6'1", senior, Aiden Clark. Mount Thanks. Hope defensive replay here, Greg. Take a look at the replay. Right guard, left guard, both pulling left. Judkins faking to the right. Did not fool the green defense or Aiden Clark. That brings up third down and 11 at the 40. Pistol formation. Judkins looks ball down the field and it's broken up Fortunato was back there with Colin Bruno the crowd wants a flag no flag this time Dover crowd is really not happy with that no call At first, I thought for sure it was going to be pass interference. I, but did, I did too, Dave. I'm not so sure the receiver didn't initiate the contact, maybe came back into the defender, Greg. Is that maybe what the official was seeing? Yeah, I, I would say that's probably exactly what the official saw. I'm still surprised they didn't get a flag on that. Usually, usually it seems like you get that call, especially at home. All right, Dover with a fourth down and 11. They'll try it again at the green 40. Now a flag comes in. And a delay of game coming up now. That's the penalty against Dover. That'll cost him five. Fourth and 10 has now become fourth and 15. See what Coach Yift elects to do. Looks like, uh, looks like they're gonna go for it. Just kind of seems that Dover needs some points on this drive. Yeah, it's getting into crunch time for sure. You don't know how many more possessions you're gonna get with Reed and McMichael controlling the clock for Green. Dover looks like they're gonna go for it. After the penalty, it's fourth and 16 at the 45. Judkins looking, Fortunato chases, knocks him down and the pass is incomplete. They sent Fortunato the inside linebacker and he's the one that just blew that play up. He sure did, another great play by Fortunato. 
Dover's offensive line did a nice job for uh, the initial couple of seconds. The receivers were all covered. Timeout on the field with 7.49 to go in the fourth quarter. Green 24, Dover 14. We are the First National Bank of Denison. We have been a staple in the community for over 90 years. Choosing the First National Bank of Denison is the first step to growing your business and reaching your goals. We are a community bank with local decision makers who live, work, and raise families in your community. We listen to our customers' short-term, long-term, and financial goals to ensure you achieve the best possible results to help your business grow. As a community bank, we can't be successful unless our community as a whole is successful. Helping your business achieve success is our greatest reward. Before making your next deal, come and see me, Jim Wilson, at our Denison location. Or me, Brian Williams, at our Dover location. And remember, here at the First National Bank of Denison, we have our roots where others have their branches. First National Bank of Denison, equal housing lender, member FDIC. The other guy's insurance, you got Kyle. Hey Kyle, it's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently. Decrease employee turnover and increase your bottom line. If you're looking for a great place to take your gang before or after the game, you got to try The Yard in Denison. Treat your family to the very best in pizza or pasta or salad. It's delicious. So don't be shy. Give The Denison Yard a try. Enjoy good food and good times at The Yard. Altman is here for you in your community because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team joined together and committed to one mission to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more for your community and for your family. Altman is always here for you. Back here at Dover, and the Green Bulldog defense forces a turnover on downs, and the Green offense gets the ball back at their own 45-yard line. Green with a 10-point lead. Here is Reed, and Reed continues to add to his total as he carries defenders inside the Dover 45. I think we're going to see a steady diet of number 20 here in this series, Dave. Try and chew up some of this clock. A big run that time. Down to the Dover 44. Reed, and 17 carries, 142 yards and a touchdown. And this, this Dover defense has been on the field a lot here in the second half. They sure have. Starting to wear out. You see hands on hips. And they said earlier, it's a lot tougher to play defense than it is offense. And... Green, of course, will try to use as much clock in between plays as well. Now a flag comes in. I think we're going to have the left guard with a false start. Stops the clock with 7.13 left. That'll cost the Bulldogs five yards. Ball's at the 49 now, first and 15. Still look for Green to keep the ball on the ground here even after the penalty. Tyler Hunka at quarterback number 12. We'll check his numbers in a moment. This is Reed and Reed goes down. Hunka tonight, what's he done so far, Greg? That was his 19, or uh, Hunka, Hunka yep. is uh, He's got 14 rushes for 51 yards on the ground. Wow. Through the air. Uh, just 7 of 10, pretty efficient, 95 yards. 
That's some pretty good balance from your quarterback. That's, that's what <laughs> you'd like to see. Some rushing yards, some passing yards. No turnovers. So no gain on that last carry. Second down and 15. Hand off Reed. Reed straight ahead. Dover defense does a nice job. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. 13, Nothing else. 13, Brady Gibb making the play. Dover's defense after the uh, five-yard penalty has stiffened up here. Let's see if uh, let's see if Green goes to the pass. If they elect to play it safe, maybe a screen pass or a or a swing pass like they've done in here uh, with uh, McMichael. Third down and 15. Under six minutes to go. Again, the Bulldogs using all of that play clock. Hunkin, quick toss out to Reed. Reed tries to turn the corner, does, and Reed rammed out of bounds, down close to the 35-yard line, very close to that first down marker. I think he's going to be a little bit short. It wasn't a pass. It was a really wide pitch play there to Reed. Picked up enough yards where uh, Coach Geis might think about going for it here. Looks like it's going to be about three yards now, fourth and three. One of the things coaches like to do in these situations is give a long hard count, try to draw the Dover defense off sides. Coach Geis is going to call for a timeout here. 5.23 to go, Green 24, Dover 14 on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Dave Sheets along with Greg Williams, statistician Scott Stair and our outstanding crew here tonight. Opening week of high school football. And again, here on Big Time Sports, we've got a great schedule lined up for you, both in Tuscarawas County and in Stark County. Go to our website. You can also uh, go to our YouTube channel, check out past replays, and uh, find out our schedule. Look forward to another outstanding season of high school football here on Big Time Sports. 5.23 left. Dover defense back on the field. They've been on that field a long time this second half. See if they can come up with the stop. Fourth down and three. Reed to the right of Hunka, the quarterback. If Dover has any hope here, they need a stop. Hunka tossed to Reed. And Reed is knocked down immediately, and an outstanding play by the Dover defense inside linebacker Mason Royer fought off the blocker and knocked Reed down almost simultaneously. That is a tremendous play. Play of the night for the Dover defense right there by wow. uh, Royer. That's, uh, again, uh, you know, three, four times we've seen Royer make big plays in that backfield, in that uh, green backfield. Huge play for the for the uh, for the Dover defense. You bet. Five fourteen left. So Dover is uh, in a tough spot now, down ten. Dover's probably going to have to open it up a little bit here. They see they're going five wide, Dave. Going five wide with three to the far side, two to the near side, for the quarterback Jack Judkins. Judkins going to look and a fire, and it's caught by Shy, and he is brought down. Boy, what a throw by Judkins into heavy traffic. Shy brings it down, and he's all the way down to the green, 39. Beautiful pass by Judkins over the middle to Shy. Wow. He had some zip on that throw. He sure did. Clock running under five minutes to go. Dover has to be in a hurry here. Two timeouts they have to work with. Green has just one. And Judkins the throw. Chased, ball in the air, down the field, and Blickensdurfer, does he have it? No, it's incomplete. Wow, what an effort. Green chose to come up and press Blickensdurfer on that play. Blickensdurfer got around the defender, and he was, he was open. He had a step, almost came up with a big play. I'm trying to see the defender. Yeah, that was Caden Gregory back there. 
but Blickensdurfer almost made a heck of a grab. Second and 10, ball remains at the green, 39. Next week here on Big Time Sports, Canton South comes here to battle Dover. We'll have it. Judkins back. And he rolls, throws. Shy has it. Shy is hit immediately by Reed and thrown back. Forward progress takes him to the 34. Clock runs. Good redirection by Shy. He was running the shallow cross. It was all bottled up. He stopped on a dime, turned back the other way, and Judkins found him for five. So it will be third down and five from the 34 of Green. Judkins continues to have a good night throwing the football. And he'll look to throw here. Fortunato going to chase him. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll throw back across the field. And it's caught. Caden Shy with the sure hands. He's got the first down inside the Green 20. Great play by Judkins. Buying some time, finding his receiver shy. Here comes the replay. Denison Yard replay for you. Shy has uh, Fortunato in the backfield once again. Scrambles to the outside, finds his receiver in the scramble drill. Again, into traffic. Shy somehow came away with it. Beautiful First and catch. 10, yeah, at the 19. Flag comes in, false start on Dover. Stops the clock with 3.28 left. That'll move the ball back to the 24. First and 15 now after the penalty. Judkins has Hughes behind him in the pistol. Judkins steps up, throws, catches made, and out of bounds inside the 15. Reception by Colin Bruno. Nice route by Bruno. Judkins rolling to his left, finds Bruno. We'll show it to you again. Here you see Judkins rolling to his left. Nice ball out there to Bruno, who gets out of bounds and stops the clock as well. Yeah, lots of positives on that play. Stopping the clock, not a minor issue. Second down and four. Ball is at the 13, empty backfield for Judkins. Look for him maybe to run here. Here comes Fortunato on a blitz. Gets the pass off to Bruno. Bruno inside the five. Bruno, touchdown, Dover. Judkins with another great throw, and Bruno takes it in for the Dover touchdown. You're Domino's Pizza big play replay. You're going to see Fortunato in the backfield again on the blitz to combat that. Dover chooses the jailbreak screen. Out to Bruno, getting the lineman out in front, throwing some blocks. Bruno doing the rest himself, getting the ball in the end zone. Another Domino's Pizza big play replay. Here is Marlette on to attempt the extra point. Kick up, kick is good. Oh my goodness, 2.56 to go. Green 24, Dover 21. And the Tornadoes are within three with just under three minutes to go. Gonna take a look at that scoring drive for the Tornadoes. Dover went on a six play, 58 yard scoring drive. And uh, Dave, I can't tell you what a what a great play call that was by Coach Ift. Uh, he uh, recognized that uh, Green was bringing pressure. Green was bringing pressure, and uh, you know his uh, his counter to that was to throw that jailbreak screen. Green brings all that pressure. You throw the screen up underneath. As a young defensive coordinator, I thought I was going to blitz Coach Ift uh, tw once uh, 20 years ago, and he threw that play for a 99-yard touchdown. I still remember <laughs> it to this day. So you got to be careful when you're blitzing Dover. All right, we are expecting an onside kick here. Marlette will do the honors from the 40. 
good hands team up for Green. The, a lot of receivers and running backs. Try to get a high hop here. Ball on the ground. There it is. It's bounced off a of lineman. Ball is loose. I think Dover's got it. I, I think you're right, Dave. That's the signal. It came up on that big hop, and it was the offensive lineman who had it bounce off his chest. Looked like two, Caden Shy. What a kick. This is a great kick by Marlatt on the really outside is. kick. He gets a couple of the, the big bounce right there. Goes off the green player right into the hands of Shy. 2.55 left. <laughs> Domino's Pizza Big Play Replay. What a game. Right at midfield. Dover with life, 2.55 to go. Judkins to throw. Has a man wide open oh. down the field, <laughs> and it's incomplete. Bruno broke free. There wasn't anybody near him. Judkins not, didn't see him. Not within 30 yards, and you're right. Judkins just didn't see him. Blown coverage by Green, but Dover could not take advantage. Pass incomplete, it's second down and 10. Don't forget, coming up, our Altman Hospital wrap-up show and our Clars XL screen printing player of the game. Final stats, recap of tonight's game. Far from over, Judkins rolling right. Chased by Fortunato, throws, catch is made. Blickensdurfer inside the 30, first down Dover. Judkins again with the scramble drill. Judkins drops back in the pocket. We see number 51 for uh, Green on the chase. Judkins rolls out to his right, buys some time, and there's Blick and Sturfer again. I say scramble drill. A lot of teams practice that. Scrambling around, looking for receivers. First down and 10 at the Green, 28. 220 clock running. Judkins looks, throws. To the end zone, Flickenzerfer and out of bounds. Well overthrown. Gregory on the coverage for Green. He comes up limping, I'm going to guess a cramp. He'll try to run it off as he goes back to the defensive huddle. Good coverage out there by Gregory. Dover running the shallow cross. Judkins looking to go deep. And not surprising, trying to go with that big height advantage that Flickenzerfer gets you, 6'4". You get him one-on-one, -on -one, you like his chances. Second and 10 at the green 28. And it's given to Hughes. Hughes, big hole up the middle inside the 20. And he crashes down near the 18, near that first down marker. It's going to be a first down, Dover. Love how Dover sticks the run in there. Yes. Denison Yard replay, Greg. Just the inside zone. Hughes takes the handoff. Great movement up front. Green maybe uh, expecting a, another pass. And uh, Dover's got Green's defense uh, reeling a little bit here, as well as Green's defense has played tonight the last couple of drives. Dover's got it back on their heels. Coming up on two minutes to go. Dover has two timeouts to work with. Green has one. Dalen Clark in the backfield now. He'll send Shy in motion. Pop pass to Shy. Turns the corner, and he is hammered down. McMichael put the hit on him, knocks him down right near the 15-yard line. Boy, that is a beautiful textbook tackle by McMichael. Uh, you took the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. I was going to use the word textbook. <laughs> That's exactly how you coach it up. Well, I felt that one up here. Yeah. He squared up, wrapped his legs, and drove him back. Mm. There's some hitting going on down there. And, you know, the first couple weeks – you don't see a lot of hard hitting, typically. But these guys are coming out and popping right now. They sure are. Second down and seven. Judkins looking, fires middle, incomplete. That was intended for Shy, and Shy turned into a defender there as Evan Giorgio nearly picked it there at the goal line. Shy did a nice job to knock it away, didn't he? Is that a flag on the, down on the field? Oh, there is a flag. Big call coming up. Well, Dover, Dover indicating it's on green. Was 
that a roughing the passer? I did not see roughing the pass. I just saw a personal foul. I'm not personal I'm not foul. sure exactly what happened. I did not okay. see the, the referee signal um, roughing the passer on that. First and goal. Hughes sweeps left side. Touchdown, Dover. And the Tornadoes have taken the lead with just over a minute to go. Domino's Pizza, big play, replay. The inside zone again. The back Hughes picks his hole. And he's got plenty of choices. Walks into the end zone, end zone untouched. Dover back, Dover back on top. What a rally here in the fourth quarter by the Tornadoes. Marlette, extra point now. This is big. This will give him a four-point lead. Kick up. And he hammers it. <laughs> over the over him. the band shell and beyond. Wow. 28-24. Tornadoes with 103 left. What a comeback. Unbelievable. Judkins quietly having a great night. 18 of 28 now. 227 yards and two touchdowns. Yep. But it was the it was the couple of runs in there by Justice Hughes that uh, you know that 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 really got uh, Green to a point where they couldn't just uh, just play the pass. One of our great sponsors is Pangrazio Pizza. Before or after the game, treat your family to the best in pizza, salad, and pasta. It's real good eating. See you at Pangrazio Pizza in downtown Dover and Denison. After the onside kick, Dover goes on a six-play, 50-yard touchdown drive to take the lead. Yeah, it was all set up by that recovered fumble on that onside kick. You don't see the onside kick work that often anymore. Not very often, that's for sure. And they've basically eliminated it in the NFL. Correct. Still in college? Still in college, yes. Wow, Marlette hammers that one. Reed on the return. He's got a seam. Reed across the 30 and knocked down. Tackled by Brady Gibb, number 13. And Greg, if if Gibb doesn't make that stop, Gibb doesn't make that stop, Reed may have taken it to the house. That was a touchdown saving tackle. There was nothing in front of Gibb except for green turf. <laughs> or in front of Reed, I should say. Mm -hmm. What a great tackle. Ball is at the 32-yard line. All right. Green has one timeout remaining. They trail by four. Under a minute to go. Altman Hospital wrap-up show at the end of this one. Empty backfield for junior quarterback Tyler Hunka. Hunka to throw. Let's it go. Catch is made and then stepped out of bounds. Fortunato with the grab out across the 40. That's a gain of eight. Good job by Fortunato getting out of bounds. Nice oh. gain to stop the clock. A field goal will not be enough. They need a touchdown. Second and two at the 40. Hunka to throw. Here comes the pressure, and he is knocked down. What a defensive play by number 54, Jack McKinnon. McKinnon took the lineman and Greg, you saw it. He pushed the lineman right into Hunka, and Hunka got knocked down. We're going to see it. <clears throat> Jack McKinnon, number 54, down here at the bottom of your screen. Takes the right tackle from Green right back into the pocket, right back to the quarterback. Puts him on his back. Forces Green to use, I believe, their final timeout. Mount Hope defensive replay. What a play by McKinnon. And this... Dover defense, which has been on the field most of the second half, trying to close it out here for head coach Dan Ift and the Dover Tornadoes. It's 43 seconds of adrenaline for, the, for, uh, for each team here. That was Green's last timeout. So they are out of timeouts. Dover has two, but right now there's no need for that. 43 seconds left. Third down and seven at the 35. 
These Dover fans down in front of us making a lot of noise. Punk at a throw. Throws, catches May Gregory. He's got the first down and he gets out of bounds, stops the clock. Dover elects to come with a five-man rush. They don't get the Hunka. Hunka delivers on time for the first down. Caden Gregory, a 5'11 senior. These teams, both these teams have really good receivers. They sure do. A lot of speed, a lot of athletes out on that field. Boy, this is this is a lot of fun in week one, huh? <laughs> Not too bad for my first uh, for, for my first, first rodeo here, Dave. 41 seconds to go. Hunka looks, guns it down the field, over the head of his intended receiver. Anthony Giorgio was there, but it was way over his head, nearly picked off by the defensive back who was back there. Was that Clark? I believe it was, eight Clark. Dalen? Dalen Clark, yes, number eight. Giorgio is open too. He found a soft spot in that Dover zone. Second down and 10. Ball at the green, 46. Incompletion stops the clock, of course. 34 ticks left. Three receivers at the top of your screen. Two down below, empty backfield. Hunka looking. Here comes the pressure. Hunka throws. It's incomplete. Gregory came back for it on a diving attempt near midfield, not able to haul it in. Dover is not electing to play any sort of prevent defense there. They're bringing five guys. They're blitzing backers. They're coming after the quarterback. The third heading, down. That incomplete was probably a good thing for Green as they wouldn't have picked up a whole lot of yards anyway. Now the players on the Dover sideline turning to the crowd, raising their arms up cheering them on third and ten hunka to throw middle almost intercepted as he overshot fortunato and caden shy almost was able to end the game right there fortunato found himself open in that dover defense in the secondary hunka thrown a little high dover's pressure is getting to him a little bit dover brought five once again well it's come down to this Fourth down and 10, 24 seconds left. Can Green find a way to extend this game or will Dover slam the door? Trips to the far side, two to the near side. Play clock at three. Oh, they did not get it off. Now the flag comes in. That'll cost them five. The noise in the Dover crowd, I think have an effect on all of this. Yeah, I think you're right. Fourth and 15 now, ball back at the 41. Green needs a first down if they want to stay alive. Hunka rolling, rolling, looking, cuts it back. 50, 45 dives right near that first down marker. It's very close. Whether he got it or not, what a great play by Hunka. It is going to be a first down. I, I thought initially he had enough, but I was watching that far side official. He looked like he didn't or wasn't going to give him the first down. Clock running, eight seconds. Hunka looks, throws, sideline, caught, out of bounds. Giorgio with the reception, stops the clock, four seconds left. Not very many people sitting in the stands. <laughs> Second and one at the 35, but just four seconds to go. Got to go to the end zone here. I think so. They, they might have time to throw a little quick out for maybe four or five yards. Uh, but they'll probably elect to, to go to the end zone. All right, Dover's defense has a lot of guys back now. Hunka looking, Hunka to throw, ball in the air, looking for Fortunato, batted up in the air, it's incomplete, and Dover hangs on for the win, 28.
24. Tornadoes rally in the fourth quarter from 10 points down, and they get the win in week one. Great play back there. I believe it was Dalen Clark coming over to, to, to knock that ball down. What a great comeback.